Hey guys, welcome back. Today I just wanted to go over a couple of uh, tips and techniques that I use when I'm uh, retouching eyes specifically. Um, I'm not a beauty photographer or am I a beauty retoucher either. So these tips are sort of quite quite handy. They're not, they're not perfect or immaculate, but they are based on the fact that we're not gonna be, you know, beauty shots are very, very zoomed in and they're, you know, filling the screen, but some of these techniques will work well on half body shots and um, you know, even even headshots as well. But so let's get started. Uh, so this shot was for um, agency agency model. They just wanted something quite quite raw, uh, quite true to life, I suppose. With regards to this, wasn't a makeup shoot. As you can see, she's, she's hardly wearing any any makeup at all. So um, and this was actually shot uh, by myself a few years ago now, using I think six six lights at the time. So it's quite a beautifying um, lighting setup. By all means, if you're interested, you can see. Uh, the lighting technique and the lighting diagrams for this shoot on my website. I'll leave a link at the bottom as well. But right, let's get started. So uh, let's just let's just go right back to uh, right back to the eyes itself. Let's just turn that lot off there. Okay. So at this stage here, all I have done at this stage is retouch the skin. Um, so the original shot like that. So I've retouched the skin. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on uh, sort of some dodging and burning really is what I mostly do with the eyes. Uh, so we're going to start off by creating a new layer, curves. Um, I'm just going to, this is the, this will be the burn layer. So I'm just going to drag that down like that. Now with the uh, burn layer, I do just tend to just bring up the black point so that I don't tend to like my burning to go too far. So I just do tend to bring up the black point um, as well on this. And for myself as well, when I'm uh, the, the burning, so this is the areas that, you know, the darker areas of the, of the image, I do actually tend to add a little bit into this burn layer as well. So I usually have sort of around, around plus 10, plus 10, something like that. Um, I'm just gonna link that to that curved layer as well. So that saturation will only now be affecting this burn layer. Just gonna click on the uh, mask there and command I that to invert. And then I'm going to just select a just a regular soft brush is is fine for this, um, and I'm just going to be doing the regular dodging and burning, select to white, and then me personally I use opacity rather than flow, um, set it to around 10% and and uh, just get cracking really. Um, now one thing to bear in mind when you're when you're doing this with eyes is you, you sort of do want to be working with with the makeup artist, so let's just say that there was a makeup artist on this on the shoot. What she would have done um, is probably you know darken under the top of the eye and maybe a little bit down here as well. You, you want to be working with with her. You also want to be sort of uh, emphasising the shape of the eye. So I'm just dodging. Oh, I'm just burning. Sorry, the, the outsides here, um, and then I'm just going to be flicking it up a little bit like that. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So you really want to be working with them with regards to trying to work on top of what they would have already done. Um, the other thing as well, I just come in here with the eyes and I just burn the burn the outsides of them. I'm sure you've all seen that done as well. What's normally done though is probably you've seen it done overdone, I think personally. Um, but yeah, you just want to come in and just make sure that's dark around the outside. By all means, burn there in the, in the middle. Um, perfect. Okay. Uh, the other thing as well, uh, I'm just going to work on one eye for the sake of this uh, tutorial. But uh, one thing that I do is I do excite lashes as well. So um, I do have a, a lash brush, if you like, uh, which is a little bit different, but not really. The, like the main thing really here is the fact that normally a soft brush doesn't doesn't have that transfer setting so that's the way it looks there um, with this lash brush it's got pen pressure selected so that you can do the eyelash flicking motion if you like um, and that will soften it towards the edge that's all nothing crazy um, and then this is where I this is where I now want to work with the eyelashes but I'm not going to work like that I'm, with a low opacity I'm going to bring the opacity up to but you can bring it up to 50 you just press 5 and it'll bring it up to 50 there um, and then you can just work in on, on the lashes, may even bring it up to 60, let's make it a bit more powerful just for the sake of this. 
Okay, now this might look a bit dodgy now with regards to, oh, they don't look very very natural or uh, like, they, like they're supposed to be there, they're not working with it, but in a second what I do, I know what I'm gonna apply afterwards that will tighten this up. Okay, I'm gonna apply a sharpening layer in a minute that will that will help to tighten these in um, so that it looks like it's supposed to be there a bit more than it does. The bottom one seems to be working quite well, the top one's not as much. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna bring those in there, like that, okay. Now when you've got this brush now, you can actually just come in and just darken, give give some depth in there as well. Again, this might look a bit a bit weird now, but when I apply this sharpening layer in a second, it'll make a bit more sense, okay. Um, so for the sake of this, uh, I'm just gonna leave that there for now, and I'm going to come in and apply a dodge layer. Just before I do that, I'm just gonna darken this top bit in here, because this is where a shadow would be as well. Okay. Um, you can come kind of move whatever craziness of blue is going on there as well, which I will, which I'll do later. But uh, let's uh, let's create another, let's create another curves adjustment layer. This is going to be our dodge layer. So I'm just going to brighten that up. Okay. Click on the mask. Command I that one. So. And again, you, you can still use the lash brush, really. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So we can just come in here and do the same in the middle. Now, I am using a tablet, so it does make it a little bit easier. Okay. Right, now with the um, dodging, you just want to, again, work with the eye. So this water line down here, it's nice to just brighten up that water line a little bit um, and just brighten up the center of the bottom piece of the eye and then dodge the top piece there and here as well. Okay. Something I like to do which uh, entirely up to you and some, some makeup artists will do as well is I actually just lighten this corner in here just a little bit. So bring it in like that. But what happens is that that brings the eye naturally in as well. Okay. Um, something that, that I have done in the past, if this is a particularly dark image, this isn't because of the type of lighting, it's got a huge amount of light in there. Sometimes I do actually like to um, add almost some separation between the lashes with the dodge tool. Okay. Um, you won't really pick it up here because of the brightness of the image, but it's something just to try if you do have a uh, darker image. Right, so that's a uh, quick and dirty way of doing it. Let me just, just bring those together a second. Uh, just group that lot. Um, right, so that's that's dodging and burning so far. Like I say, pretty, pretty standard, but let me just come in here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to apply some sharpening to this that will, that will help to tighten up what currently appears to be pretty messy. So uh, I'm just going to do a stamp visible layer, which is command or shift E on the Mac and something else for you, which I don't know at the top, the top of my head. But uh, so once I've got that, I'm just going to desaturate this layer because this is going to be a sharpening layer. Okay. So command U opens up the um, saturation panel. Uh, so yeah, so this is going to be a sharpening layer. So I don't want to sharpen color. So that's why I've just desaturated that. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to make three duplicates of this layer. So Command J and Command J again. Okay. I'm just going to turn those top two off and just will now. So I'm going to go in here, um, filter other and into high pass. And for this particular one, I'm going to make make sure this one is actually quite quite a strong sort of sharpening. So I want this to be actually quite a low figure, somewhere around sort of four mark or something like that. Bear in mind that this radius is based on pixels, so it is based on the size of your image. So this is not a one size fits all, but I think this is a 12 by 18 at 250 dpi or something like that. So this this, this works well for that. Um, so yeah, so around four pixels, now that, okay. Um, and then I'm going to change this blending mode to vivid light. Okay, pretty strong. So I'm just gonna bring that down to around 50. Okay. 
Yeah, so maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And then I'm going to open up the next layer, black and white again. And I'm going to go and do the same filter, high pass. Uh, and for this one, it's going to be quite a bit higher. So let's have this around. Yeah, that'll be fine. So around 70 or 80 for this sort of thing will be fine. Uh, and then I'm going to drop the blending mode down to soft light. Okay, and again, I'm going to bring this right down, down to 20%, something like that. Okay. And then finally, this one, uh, this is the one that's going to do, this is the one that's going to tighten up this this one, this specific area of, of the image. So this is not going to be a blanket sharpening. This is just going to be based on specifically almost sharpening for the eyes. So this last one, uh, I'm going to turn that on, go up to filter, high pass again. Um, and somewhere in the middle. So before we had a low one, before we had a high one, this is going to be around, you know, seven to 10, something like that. Um, that should be fine. Um, come in there and I'm going to turn this one to overlay, blending mode to overlay. That's obviously quite aggressive, so I'm just going to apply a mask to that. So you can either hit Alt and then click the mask button, which basically hides that layer. Uh, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, and then uh, with that with that mask there, I'm just going to come back to the uh, my brush um, with the white and then I'm just going to paint over with this sort of low opacity I'm just going to paint over the specific parts of the eye here okay um, and that will really help to tighten up some of that messy dodging and burning that we did a minute ago okay it's just coming in there Okay, so what that what that is essentially is doing is that sharpening, uh, as I've mentioned before in previous tutorials, sharpening is just increasing the contrast um, of adjoining pixels, adjacent pixels. So you might be able to see this on on the video YouTube-wise, but when you just click on that, you how it's brightening and darkening the pixels, um, giving the impression of sharpening it. But it also means that it's exaggerating the work that you've already done on the eye there as well. Um, so let me just group those, select those, command G, and then dodge and burn as well. I'm just going to group those two together. Let's just turn that off. Okay. So just that eye like that. Okay. Uh, and obviously the sharpening as well is applied. Uh, so that's it, guys. I uh, hope you found that useful. There's a couple of tips there that will that you can work across other areas of the image, but specifically the reason why I've chosen the eyes is because nine times out of 10, that's where you want the viewer to actually look in your image. Um, so that's why that particular technique that I used there with the strong sharpening at the end there with the overlay high pass, I would, I would, I would only ever that, or not dodge that, but show that on a, a section of the image where I wanted the eye to go. So maybe you'd, you'd, you'd use that on jewelry as well, say something like that. If, if it was a jewelry shoe or something and the model was wearing some jewelry, you'd probably mask that bit in as well because that would really help to make jewelry stand out. All right, guys, well, thanks so much indeed for watching. Um, by all means, head on over to my Facebook page to check out um, some of my recent uploads, post every single um, working day, or head on over to my website, checkingphotography.com where there's more advanced techs, um, tips and techniques and bits and pieces like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.